The following podcast may contain explicit language and offensive material. If you're looking for recipes, I uh, can't help you there. Welcome to the Bies de Resistance 2020 Valentine's Day Special with Lisa Graham and Dale Leopold and special guests Karen O'Brien, Karen's boyfriend Jeff, Nancy McLemore, and Lisa's friend Susanna. We're taking a little break from politics here to get back to romance, specifically following up on the Match Game episodes about Karen's dating life. Karen has a boyfriend, a brave but somewhat foolhardy young man named Jeff, who has somehow agreed to present himself for the approval of the committee. And of course, we'll also be hearing outtakes from our most recent episode. We now join this episode already in progress. Welcome to the bonus episode. I'm Lisa Graham. And I'm Dale Leopold. And we have guests. <laughs> yes. We do. It is we a do. very special bonus episode because it's a Valentine's Day love, hearts, and roses themed episode. Um, Dale and I have both been married a long time, but not to each other, so we yes. don't get much Valentine. Mm-hmm. No. No. <laughs> so we're going to take this one. Um, we have with us today as special guests, we have uh, Susanna, who is a delight- delightful friend of mine and Karen's. We have Nancy McLemore, who is, as you well know, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, among mm-hmm. others. Karen Pence. Um, yes, right. We have Karen O'Brien herself, who is both my son and my nemesis in the podcast. And um, most excitingly, we have Karen's new gentleman caller, Jeff. Her beau. Hello. (laughs) Because Karen, whom we all love dearly, has been known to, and I'm not going to say this is a character flaw, it's more like just a quirky little part of her presence. She has been, in the past, may have made, let's call them less than perfect choices when it comes to the dudes. Very diplomatic. So we vowed that she wasn't allowed to do that again without running someone through the committee. Ta-da, the committee. Ta-da, Jeff. I hope you're ready for this. Yes. Suck it to me. I can't hear Jeff now. We're losing sound everywhere. I I heard Jeff. Uh, Karen, why don't you hop in the booth with Jeff? I know you've already done the nasty. You can be in that space together. It's not like when Dale and I were in mine. (laughs) It's a cramped booth in here, though. Ah. Oh, well, you know, it's me again with the loose connection. Never mind. Okay, we got this. All right. Okay. Okay. So, um, Jeff, welcome to the tribe. Uh, We do have a few questions. I'd like to start with my most pertinent question. Sure. Uh, Jeff, are you now or have you ever been a serial killer? A serial killer. Um, uh, I'm I'm uh, there's been some discussion about collecting heads. (laughs) This is not a reassuring answer, Jeff. No, it is. Stick to yes or no on these things. Don't let them. You know, that would be a no. No. Okay. Good. 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 Well done. So we confirm there are no heads in a box under your bed. No. They're in Not the garage, yet. aren't they? If they're somewhere uh, else, don't say that. Just say no. He's waiting no, to harvest no. my head. <laughs> Karen, you have a lovely head. No wonder he covets it. She has a lovely floof. It's the fluff, I know. It's the fluff, you know? I know. It's got, you know, Jeff, I, I, Go ahead, Jeff. Oh, I said I, I'd, never, uh, I'd never dated a woman with, uh, with curly hair, and so... The, the running joke at the beginning of the relationship was that um, uh, it was like cotton candy. So it just became. <laughs> Aww. Aww. So we started sending memes back and forth about like uh, from Zootopia with the with the fluff and the fox doing the fluff. And, oh. you know, I have kids. So, you know, I've seen Zootopia a million That's times. That's true. As so, have I. Yeah. That, that yes. will do it. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know right. my pain. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I watched a grown-up film the other day, and I was traumatized. Were you crying at <laughs> yes. the joy? <laughs> it, just, it was very it's so sad. Beautiful. I, yeah. I didn't understand. It was a film. <laughs> <laughs> you had to use your brain, Jeff, right? May I, is this only yes. going to be heard? People will not see Jeff's face. No, they won't, but I'll describe mm. it if it's glorious. Please describe Jeff to the audience so they will know what he looks like. <laughs> Jeff is cute. Jeff is wearing glasses. He's very cute. He's very cute. He has a goatee. Thank you. He looks kind of like Goatees Sam Sykes, the author, if you follow him on Twitter, <laughs> which I recommend you do. But he looks a little bit like him. 
Mm. Which is a plus. Um, and he is just adorable. He's very brave. There's well, that a is, very mm, cute little yes. spark in your eye, Jeff. I don't I can't <laughs> quite tell if it's mischief or if uh-huh. it's pure, pure just dazzle. But it's or just cute. sheer terror. Sheer terror. Yeah, it could yeah. be terror. I just like to keep people guessing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, yes. Jeff, multiple choice. Certainly. Karen comes to you. She's terribly upset. One of her cats has horked up a hairball. Oh. Uh-huh. Do you say, don't worry, they barf all the time? A. a or okay. B. Offer to have the carpet cleaned. Or C. Run screaming out the door because you are afraid of slimy, hairy barf. <laughs> I mean, you know, having a dog... And a cat at different points in my life. And having babies, it really gets you past the gross factor. So, <laughs> I, I mean, really, really uh, like, I would I would help clean it up because you, you have to. That's a good answer, but it yeah, is incorrect. Now, if you it's have incorrect. a dog, the dog will take mm-hmm. care of it for you. That's true, too. Yeah, also well, incorrect. And snack in the litter box, too. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, kitty snacks. Yeah, kitty snacks. Uh, kitty no, kibble. that is an incorrect answer because the correct answer is I'm sorry. make tea and then make help tea. clean it up. Uh. Oh. But if you let it sit, it, it, it makes sinks in and you gotta, you got to like get she it right away. She needs the tea. She needs the tea. Mm-hmm. I would like to ask the next question, please. <laughs> Certainly, Nancy. Nancy. Um, as a two and a half year divorcee uh-huh. of a 30 year marriage, I uh-huh. decided to get on match and I sort of helped encourage Karen to get on match. I heard. Yeah. So I have a tiny part in this little play we're doing. Yes, Skin do. in the game. I want to know Jeff or is it Jeff or Jeffrey? Uh, I go by Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. Please tell us at what point did you realize that Karen is a definite keeper? Is a definite keeper. Well, um, one of the main, uh, I think, markers is that I had absolutely no desire to go back on match or one of the three that I was on at the time. Um and we really clicked because our senses of humor are very similar. We're goofy in the same way. Uh, we get the same inside jokes. You know, that's that's really the click. It's the click. My uh, my my philosophy for dating is that not that you have to have all your shit figured out, but that your neuroses have to match. Yes, very yes. nice. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll, I'll, I'll vouch for that. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. We're all neurotic. We get that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, look, and now we have matching cups because she's letting you use the calamity wear. Calamity wear. I, I almost bought a set for my son because the he would so dig these. They are oh, awesome. They there's are like a, awesome. There's like a death robot and a, and a sea monster on here. I mean, giant poodle. And it looks like the classic blue. Um, yes. You know. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, they're fantastic. Highly recommend it. China. They should uh, they should sponsor your show. They should. Because we just gave them a shout out. Brought to you brought to you by Calamity Wear. Even brought though to you they by don't know Calamity it. Calamity Wear. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> of course, maybe they're all Trumpers. So who knows? You know. That's the other question I have. Have yes. you now? Are you now? Oh. Or have you ever been a Republican? No, I no have kid. voted for a Republican once in my life. Mm. It was back when Chuck Grassley was relatively sane. Oh. Ah. Okay. Mm. Well, that's we'll fair. So, yes, I'm originally from Iowa. So, that's the. Oh. You're originally from I. You're an Iowan. Yes. Does that mean you're a caucuser? I never caucus. caucus. I, I ended up leaving. I never did the caucus. I only really had one opportunity before I uh, left the state. Ah. You're from so. Iowa. Iowa. Listen <laughs> to you. Are you a tenor? Second tenor, yes. So Karen tells me you like to sing in the symphony chorus, or you is that right? Portland Symphonic Choir, yes. Okay, nice. and I was in the I was in the Dallas Symphony Chorus. Awesome. And I was a music major, of course. And uh, yeah. uh, so, what is your favorite requiem? Four A. 
<laughs> That's gorgeous. <laughs> Beautiful. Highly Good recommend. Answer. Wait a minute. It, I have a favorite requiem too, which is an odd thing for me to have. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I, uh, Mozart's. Um, yes, that one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's my favorite. Okay. Is it the? Uh, oh, sorry. I'd I was going to talk for a heavyweight. I think that was a Rod Serling story. But, <laughs> requiem um, for a dream. Yeah. For a dream. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Last exit to Brooklyn. One of those uplifting works. No, my uh, first, yes. uh, my first requiem, or the first thing that I did when I rejoined Portland Symphonic was uh, uh, the um, Barber, the War Requiem. Yeah. 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 Uh, oh dear. Okay. Man, that was like being thrown in the deep end. It was. It was fun though. Yeah. I mean, it was great. It was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Okay. Sorry, we're we're music. No, 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 no. That's all right. That's all right. You ever you ever perform the works of P D Q Bach? Because P D Q Bach. No, that's the real classics too. But I, yeah, you know, I enjoy his stuff. Is he even still around? I don't even know. I think he is. I think he is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, Susanna, do you have a question? Hmm. Well, I just want to know how he feels because he was hesitant over the name of our group, which is Coven. No, mm. not this group. So how do you feel about witches? <laughs> um, I just started the third season of uh, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Ah, Did I bring in anything? I mean, you know. <laughs> just start. <laughs> how do you feel about I like real live witches? Real live witches? Well, I don't know. Are you, are you Wiccan? I am. Hmm. I think it's a it's an interesting. Um, I think it's a very earthy religion. Is kind of my understand my understanding of it. it it's is like very, very earth earthy. based. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Mother Nature. Yes. Did you did you ever so, have a crush on Elizabeth Montgomery as Samantha? <laughs> you're, too, you're too young. You're too young. Okay. Susanna no, didn't no. know. I, I I saw reruns. She she was quite the Something quite easy on the eyes. Wiggle. You know. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. she she could wiggle, she could work that nose, and the way that she wiggled her nose. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. You, yeah. you have to really say something nice about witches because otherwise we'll hex you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I probably have some curse on me, you know, some something I've done. I don't know. You know, <laughs> I'm not a fall. I'm not a Wiccan, more of a solitary path kind of girl, but. Uh-huh. Because there yeah. are distinctions. I view witchcraft as the earliest form of feminism, as woman's wisdom mm. is how I <clears throat> view it. I was I was pleasantly surprised when I oh, visited S- Salem, Massachusetts, yes. So um, nice. Okay, yeah. Uh, that um, <laughs> they have a little museum of this, about the Salem witch trials and was really surprised that they have a whole, like, wall mural about... about uh, the Wiccan religion, oh. you know, in a very, very neutral to positive tone, uh-huh. which is kind of, maybe it's kind of guilty conscience kind yeah. of thing. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Could be some of that. <laughs> Boy, I'm not one to, worth a visit. Worth a visit. I'm, I'm not one to push my, my views very hard on anybody else, but if they're curious, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll go into it. But You are, I, I would, I, I'm a recovering Baptist I oh dear! That religion. <laughs> <laughs> so I was a in the south roll too. Back. Yeah, uh-huh. I was a cradle. I don't know if you know what cradle roll means, but that means when you're taken as a fetus to church. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And, uh, oh. <laughs> your little embryo goes crazy in there. But anyway, <laughs> tell us about your. I know that um, spirituality is important to Karen, mm-hmm. and I would assume it is as well for you. Yeah. Um, I'm, uh, I'm Lutheran and I'm, uh, ELCA Lutheran, which is, um, kind of the more, is the rainbow friendly Lutheran. We'll just say that. Ah, excellent. Um, yes. Excellent. Uh, which, yeah, yeah, our, 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 um, primary pastor right now, she's a lesbian, has a, has a, um, uh, live in partner i don't know if they're married or not but anyway um okay D- have you ever joined the sons of canute <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> little 
south of Minnesota they, there, I guess. Do they have okay. like toques on their heads or anything like that? You know, the little braided. I'm, I'm really not sure. I never really extra, wanted to investigate it yeah. that closely. But no, yeah. my okay. My family's from northern Wisconsin though, so I I I only grew up in Iowa. My family's basically Northland people. Ah, okay. So it's it's strange, and maybe uh, you know Nancy being in the South, or you know maybe this happens to you guys if you visit like where you're from. But if I visit my family, I sort of start rounding my O's and, you know, doing the, oh, yeah, boat, boat near the lake, yeah, mm-hmm. uh-huh. <laughs> yep. Start sounding like I'm out of Fargo, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's better, though. My family, I sound like a cracker. <laughs> you sound like a cracker. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, white trash. Uh, well, okay. hey, you know. <laughs> you know, well, somebody has to get out of it, I guess. I don't know. We got to come from somewhere, right? True that. Fr- yeah. Yes. Yep. All right, who's preparing us to ask a question? Oh, so I guess. Well, Dale hasn't, but I don't know if he's I'm, allowed I'm to. I'm really I acting more as your attorney here. You're so me. I'm, okay, I'm that's trying right. to minimize, uh-huh. you know. Yes. All right. Lisa, you. Lisa, me or you? Lisa, me or you? Do what, huh? <laughs> me or you? Because I've got one right. Go ahead. You. Oh yeah, whatever. Spit it out. Yep. Go for it. What, what's your last name, Jeff? Hop. Jeff. H O P P. Yes. Two peas. Jeff. Yes. You know, we have to eat. Uh-huh. And eating can be a wonderful experience, or it can be a, meh, I put the yeah. fish sticks and English peas in the pot. So yeah, yeah. what's your philosophy on cooking, and what is your favorite cuisine, and who is the better cook, you or Karen? That's my question. <laughs> I think Karen might be coming in to. I'm just getting you some air. Oh, getting me air. Okay, yeah, it's it's hot. Um, I'm. uh, I think I'm probably the better cook. I think because, um, I've been doing it longer. Uh, I started. I think I made my first lasagna at like ten something. Yeah. Um. Probably, you know, it's so tricky these days because both of my kids are on a um, diet. I mean, in not a diet, but like my son is weed sensitive. So, you know, typical Portland Um, (laughs) weed sensitive. So we can't have wheat. And then my daughter decided about a couple months ago to be vegetarian. Well, pescatarian, Mm -hmm. I should say. And uh, boy, that's really thrown a monkey wrench in like what I can make. But if it's yeah. up to me and I'm by myself, um, I like to probably go either like good, like healthy Mexican or Italian. Probably mm. my faves. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Not sure. I was not aware that there was anything healthy about Mexican food at all. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I can. That's part of the fun of it, actually. You know? It's American Mexican is crap. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and as Susanna was pointing out, we have Tex-Mex, and so. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm, which means uh, yeah. cheese. Which means cheese. <laughs> cheese on top of cheese. <laughs> That's Hail right. the cheese. <laughs> cheese is important. Well, this is Mexican food. Just well, like my family. Oh, sorry. Has has a, a wide variety, and there are a lot of healthy, authentic Mexican dishes that you just don't get them here in America. Yep. That's true. Very true. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Okay. Speaking of America. America. How do you Mark. feel about the orange shit gibbon in the White House? <laughs> Not a leading question at all. Not a I'll, leading I'll question at all. That's right. <laughs> I'll, I'll allow it. You may answer. Uh, let's see. I, well, at the time, let's put it this way. I was um, uh, playing Pokemon Go with my kids because of bonding experience. Uh, there is a, <laughs> a, you know. I Father's drove my dude. nanny around town while she Pokemon, <laughs> so I'm with you. <laughs> so there's a uh, there's like this monster that's essentially like a toxic waste sludge monster. Uh, I posted uh, it on my Facebook feed. You could probably see it. And, I see uh, where this is going. It said, you know, it said, uh, you know, <laughs> Donald Trump spotted uh, near at my nearest Pokemon spot. Yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well played. Well played. Mm-hmm. Yes. Good answer. Yes. <laughs> Visual too, you know. <laughs> very good, very good. Mm. Oh, speaking of visuals, yes. everyone, yes. close Uh-oh. your eyes, except uh, you, Nancy, if you're still driving. Oh, Picture, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Picture an okay. apple. Okay. 
Can you do this? Can you see an apple in your head? Me? Yeah. Sure. Yeah? Mm-hmm. What the fuck is wrong with you people? You hallucinate all the time? <laughs> <laughs> I've just... I cannot. Well, I have Karen no have mental I've... imagery. I'm freaked out by this. Karen and I have had this discussion on whether or not we think in text or think in pictures, and that might be coming from a discussion with you, Lisa, but... Yeah, probably. Like, I, yeah. I, it, there's something to that about thinking in, in pictures because you have to translate it into speech or text, and then you got to you know, let it out. And I think there's that delay, you know, hmm. with uh, explaining thoughts. I don't know. I, th- I have dialogue and other voices in my head all the time. Just constant oh, yeah. dialogue. Yeah. But no pictures. <laughs> As your attorney, uh, Lisa, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll say let's take a little pause to listen to the outtakes from our most recent uh, oh. episode. Oh, right. Awesome. Okay. And we'll, we'll go. And now, as promised, here are the outtakes from our most recent episode, Carry On, My Wayward Dotard. All right, let's all start. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Sound like a Scotty go. with a cold. Let's take it from the top then, Mark, indeed. Mark, that's you. Mark, Mark, that's I'm using you. all the thingies at my disposal. Can to... I start again? In our last episode of BS, what, what, what? Okay. Ingenue, off genou. She is a trained thespian. Thespians, you know how they are. Look, it's none of oh, our business flannel. if she's a thespian or not. <laughs> <laughs> bitchy. She sounds bitchy and condescending. Oh, uh, she's, yeah, she's always condescending. That's her entire shtick. Did I say diva? Yes. I said diva. Yes. Are we not men? Yes. We are divas. The correct pronunciation is the one I've given it. Entirely too much directing going on around here. We're all losing our heads here. Hello, okay. Mr. So, Kazan. Okay, go for Mr. It. Kazan. I found, I can't. Wait, we, we skipped a lot and I stole it back because they were making fun. Cool. Do you have the script? Script? Please, we're professionals. <laughs> what, what do you want? What do you want? You want actual words it's, in your script? Okay, it's all improv. What the uh, hell? It writes itself. Jesus. I'm going back to line 15, okay? Just make it incomprehensible. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> I need to write myself some lines to shut me up. I gotta sit right down and write myself some fucking lines. Who wrote this shitski? I am looking at it right now. I didn't even write. You wrote this shitski. I know, okay. For the moment. Every, every syllable is precious, Nancy. Thank every you. Every syllable is precious. Honey, it's, it's Walmart. I don't talk to anybody. I'm a little bit afraid. Apparently, Yevi was on the design team that created Jake's amazing shape-shifting side. Look at the cute seashell <laughs> yes, No, no, no. Higher, higher. Higher, Abdul, higher. <laughs> Use your head voice. Maybe even your your uh, no no all the way up to here, up to here. I do not know. You want to try your super try fabulous. your uh, uh, what is it? Your falsetto. That is almost word for word an actual conversation my husband and I had. Okay, well I have enjoyed. The, huh? No, no. Donde huh? está Natasha? Oh, Natasha. Very easy. We're traveling now to Mother Russia. So we're back in Russia. Here we go. I do not see Natasha, but for <laughs> one. It's, it's a sitcom, new sitcom. Like the guy on the hydraulic press. And here we Who go. Is, who is it? It's Vlad. Putin. It sounds kind of like I'm so confused now. So confusing, this babble in my head. I'm so confused. Where are we again? (laughs) I I couldn't be more proud of my favorite son, and you know who you are. Uh, Stalin's ghost must be shitting himself with jealousy. Oh, you are (laughs) wonderful. I love you, and the ropes you use. Yes. May I lick your shoes? It's getting hot in here, comrade. Da, Mr. President. (laughs) Sorry, let's try that with Russian. Da, Mr. President. Yeah, once again, I do TV. No, 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 da, 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 da. I do TV. You can do, do it. Give me, give me one more, please. Spasibo. You're a professional and all that shit, yeah. Oh, goody. This is great. I like when I'm not in it. I can watch. Is Karen trying to be uh, <clears throat> sort of coy and, and flirtatious in her... Sadistic. She's the dominatrix, you know. Twisting uh, him, kind She's of... She's definitely uh, twisting his nipples. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, this is harsh. Sorry, Chris. I wrote it but... as like... <sighs> Okay. But, oh, he's going to play both of them. But hey, but, we've done it to Karen. We can do it. He here. wrote it and but, he did not think, not even uh, once. I cannot make one person but, be everybody. Uh, but, but he did. It. Um, his <laughs> birthday is not too That was, that was uh, uh, nice. But, uh, you had a good scene partner there, too. Um, de- yeah. No. But. <laughs> Hold on, Father. I'm just in a wrong place with my colonoscopy. Oh, just a second here. Oh, a colonoscopy. Colonoscopy? Do you mean. Ah! Did no. you say ass play? Thank you. Ass play. Oh, ass play. Okay, I see where I am. <laughs> well played. 
need, Chris. Yeah, go, go lightly and then you'll go heavily. <laughs> Wait until I tell you the Purple Avengers reactions to the halftime show. Pretty I have hot quotes. on that halftime show with the rope part. How about that? Then? It hurt his weenie. They grew up so fast. <laughs> oh, Lisa, that is beautiful. Oh, my God. That is perfect. His eyes that got is perfect. really big. <laughs> and at one point he yelled, Lady, will you quit popping that thing around? The worst thing is it's probably true. Both of them probably think I that. I said a few choice words. There was no crying. No, we save that till after. Your internet connection is unstable. That's nice. That's good to know. Lost in the forest at night. (laughs) In a panic. (laughs) You forgot in a panic. (laughs) That way. Well, gee, thanks a lot, George. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) without a cough in there. (laughs) Locusts and frogs. Locusts and frogs. You can do it. You can do it. Southern Scotland. Such a musical laugh. Ugh. Boy, I'll tell you what. <laughs> like little fairy chimes. But instead of, what do we say to death? Not today. We say, yeah, you know, today we're actually be fine. From the beginning, please. <laughs> From the Clive phone call. Phone ringing. Ding. Uh, uh, I can never tell when you're joking, my dear. Clive, you mustn't bully. attempt to bully people who are trying goodness, to kill I'm you in 76 different ways. so mental. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm just so emotional these never days. Never can tell. <laughs> Um, Plus he quite. wants to see uh, where it goes. Okay, so you want you went Are for you the overlap. Me? Wonderful. Okay. Are you sending me an early Irish wo- <laughs> Wow. Early Elderly Irish. Irish woman. The fuck? The early Irish. <sighs> Bless her little. <laughs> well, if, 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 you're, if you're good there, I do have some um, shit to do, as they say. Shit to do. <laughs> shit More to important do. than this? Come on. Um, <laughs> Maybe more important as it will earn me some money, uh, but nowhere near as entertaining. What is this money you speak of? <laughs> it was going so well until it wasn't. <laughs> We're all pear shaped, moving right along to the old white house. I'll have you for lunch. I will smite you. I'm out I of my stash of special ass. burgers, and I want Don't some ninety six percent lean. I have. I have notes on your speaking in tongues for later. You know, when I took geology as a student, uh, it was, one was a little more normal. <laughs> oh, that's nice. And, <laughs> hmm. That was good touch, Lori. Good touch. <laughs> on the next exciting episode of B.S. There is a Son, the United States of America, on the next... <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got, that's all I can give. That's all I can give. That so was I perfect. That was perfect. It has been a positive delight. Mm-hmm. Lovely. Right. Bye, friends. I love you all so much. Actually. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God, oh, we were funny. I can't believe you oh, said I that. I can't I either. Just, you <laughs> know, was that sorry. scripted? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it sounds like it, doesn't it? Hmm. Angus is my hero. <laughs> Jeff, are you the con- are you are you familiar with the concept of personal gremlins? Personal gremlins, sort of like skeletons in the closet or monkey on your back. The voice, the voices in your head, the monkey in your back, the things that yeah. the negative voice that you tell yourself. Yeah. Oh yeah. How do you? How do you deal with your gremlins? Uh, let's see. Heavy doses don't. of medication. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> uh, don't, don't, don't water them after yes. dark. Um, yeah, that's how <laughs> I deal with them. That's <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, you know. Um, no, I, I, I think mental health is very important. I, uh, I go to a therapist. Um, post-divorce, I mean, it's... That's you. Pff, yeah. You, know, you, you should, duh. Um, yeah. So if you that's don't, been going you on wind for up years. putting on a show. So. I have to I have to put a a, a ping out for Headspace because I love Headspace. I I do it. I've learned so much about meditation and centering and kind of accepting you for who you are, you know, sort of thing. Um, it, what is what is Headspace? It's it's a meditation app. Uh, oh, okay. There's a I don't know his name's Andy. I don't know his last name, but. Um, He's, He's a, very good. I've done. Yeah, British dude. Um, Here we go. An- another so, potential yeah. sponsor. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Brought to you by Headspace. <laughs> Get there you yours go. I'm just right. 
I'm just oh, throwing sure. throwing stuff at you left and right. That's uh, excellent. We I like, like it. <laughs> I'm a meditator as well. I Are you? put a very strong. I, I believe in it wholeheartedly, and yeah. it's very helpful. Oh, it's great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially the anxious stuff. You know, your your head just gets flooded with all that stuff. You know. Yeah. Take yes, it does. Yep. Now let's talk about those anxious <clears throat> moments because there's okay. going to come a day, mm-hmm. maybe several, where Karen goes. <laughs> I don't know why I'm even doing this. Everyone hates me. And then running. What do you do? Uh, make tea. Apparently. Yes. <laughs> good. Good. Step one. Good. Good. Yes. good. That's right. <laughs> Double points. Yes. Tea. <laughs> and and remind her that it is not her fault. You should. You probably don't know this. What the uh-huh. producers really wanted was a short, fat Korean chick. And since Karen is neither <laughs> short, fat nor Korean, nor Korean, it's not her fault. Uh huh. Don't take it personally. We don't like that bitch. She books a lot of our gigs. Oh yeah. <laughs> you guys have the she, same agent. Is that uh, she even gets some of my yeah. gigs too? I mean, it's like you know, <laughs> so unfair. I know. Hate her. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I don't know how you guys do what you do because it's you know like the you you have to be okay with rejection because I mean you're not going to get everything. It's no, it's just oh yeah, you're not going to get most things. Yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. It's easier Daily, if you go at it rejection. from like a Buddhist perspective of life is suffering, so that when you do get one, <laughs> you're like oh woohoo woohoo yeah, that's a good day. <laughs> now like because I only got two attached. this month or whatever. Yeah, yes. uh-huh. yeah. I mean it's. A, a really good booking rate would be like 0.2 percent. So. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, jeez. Yeah. 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 So oh, we get, my you head get would explode. I think. Yeah. So you, you, you wonder why. have to have that Brian Cranston attitude of you bring your best game, yeah. and if they choose you, it's not because of you. It's it's they want something else or. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You could sound yeah. like their ex boyfriend from <clears throat> that dumped them in high school, and yeah, they don't. Yeah, yeah. You know. I mean, anything could yeah. happen. So. Very subjective, yeah. Yeah, you just do the want. work. Yeah, do the work. Make <laughs> the mouth work. noises. That's right. <laughs> Susanna does um, mortgage loans, which doesn't get as much rejection. She gets to reject people. <laughs> uh. We are sorry. We're going to be unable to process your request. Correct. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. I had to do a couple of those already today. It sucks when people just get very irate. Like, well, yeah, that but I can the credit score somehow. <laughs> Oh, do you do you like do you talk to them directly? Like it's not just a. Yes, I'm a mortgage loan officer, so Ooh. I have direct contact with the borrowers. I pull their Ooh. credit. I discuss their issues. Uh, yeah. things. She can also help it. with yours if you ask her nicely, or ask me to ask <laughs> her nicely. Very good. <laughs> good. Yeah. And, and and Susanna, do you get to add, do you get to say, hey, look, it's not personal. It's just business. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do it in your best Trump voice, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Sorry, awesome. you're fired. You're fired. Credit and his uh, credit card is, you know, charged up near its limit, which is a bad no-no for those of you who don't know that. Keep your credit <laughs> revolving debt down to around 25 percent of your available credit. Uh, and and he just he was sending me pictures of his. Uh, account where he had just paid it off two days ago and why is it showing that way and i said because they haven't reported it to the bureau yet, to the bureau I mean, yet I could, yeah I, I can well help. of all the of all the pictures he could have been sending you that's you know that's yeah, probably really. the least <laughs> offensive <laughs> you, know. Yeah. Yeah. you know i've never gotten a dick pic on social media are you or yeah. i don't i don't want one Never. Fine, neither. Ni- neither have Me I. Neither. I. I don't know nope. why. Yeah, that's no. Nope. Nancy, you have <laughs> on private message. Yeah, I've oh, never really? gotten a dick pic. Yeah, I don't know what I would do. Huh. I've gotten one on a text before, and I was at a festival, and I about had a come apart. But <laughs> uh, you know, I was who I what. It was from somebody I didn't know. It was really exciting. Well, the proper response, <laughs> the proper response is probably no response. But the other proper response is oh. That looks like a penis, only smaller. Only smaller. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Or where is the penis really located? I might be interested. You never know. True. Yeah. True. Yeah, well, Could be a good penis. What's the surprise? What do you do? Oh, what do I do? Money? I'm a forensic civil engineer. Oh, very interesting. Yes. Do you, 
You investigate murders? Is that what it is? Yeah. No, it's no. Only Dead when bodies in buildings. Accounts. Murdered accountants. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, right. gotcha. <laughs> that's a big group. No, uh, yeah. uh, so like I, my background's in structural design, and what I do is work for a company that does insurance claim work or serve as an expert witness for, um, for civil lawsuits involving, um, you know, contractors. Ah. Yeah, things like that. Wow. Has, now, has your testimony in court ever caused someone to break down and said, okay, okay, I did it. I did it. No. Can you fix my booth? <laughs> did you hear oh. that? Oh, yeah. That's good. She needs a handy guy in the house. Yes. yes no, yes. So, <laughs> no, I've never had to give testimony in actual court, but I've done mediations and depositions, you know. Gotcha. That's about all the farther they go in Oregon, so. Depositions are unfun. I've been deposed no, a couple times. It's not fun at all. Oh, dear. Civil, not criminal. I'm so Okay. <laughs> Lesson from Lisa to the world Lesson. out there is that you should yeah. never, ever serve on a condo association board, ever. Oh, hey. Hey. I made yeah. that mistake. <laughs> or buy a condo or go anywhere buy near a, con- a yeah. condo. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. Exactly. Everybody in my office, they're like, I'm never buying a condo or a townhouse. Mm. No. Nobody. Mm-mm. They suck. That's um, the thing. Portland is so expensive now that, I mean, that's about all I can afford for crying out loud. Yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes it comes with cable. Just don't sit on the board. So, yeah. yeah. By, so, by the way, how old are, are your kids, Jeff? Uh, my son just turned nine, and my daughter actually just just turned 12. Oh, oh then you're in for some fun years. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just encouraged that you let one of them live that long, so that gives me hope. Oh, has your son dear. let go of his penis yet? Because mine has <laughs> newly discovered ah. that he must hang on to it 24/7. Like dear life, it's, like it's going to detach videos. at some point. I, t- I told him it wouldn't fall off. It didn't matter. <laughs> Mommy, Although, yes, I but say... it's so cool. <laughs> They it's are, disturbing. but put it back. The, you know, the disturbing thing is like... and lightweight. The, and... Again. The, the disturbing thing is like morning boy wood. It's just like... <laughs> just mumbling. It's probably really funny. It's like, what? I missed it. Okay, what? Anyway. Sorry. Oh, I was talking anyway. about morning boy wood. It's just so... Mm. Yeah, like, uh, uh, it's too early. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's rough. That's rough. Like, we had but... experienced those and sort of glossed over that. Oh, yeah. Not we, me, but... but Oh, yeah. The young man. But now, then yeah. I watched the Super Bowl halftime show. Um, oh, dear. And a correlation was made. I think I heard, <laughs> I think I heard this story. Yeah. yeah we, so. we talk about this in the outtakes, actually. Uh, yeah. I won't spoil yeah. it. We did. So, yeah. Okay. I, Go I Shakira. Won't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, she she can shake. So. No, no. If I had a penis, it would have jumped up, too. <laughs> Two boys like my son does, you get text messages that say things I never thought I'd say. Joey, quit touching your brother's penis. Mm. Oh. <laughs> so I guess yeah. this just goes on and on forever. It, oh, God, yeah. 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 Yes, have, you, have you not met any adult men? Is that? No. I have, but yeah, I know, huh? just sit there. <laughs> Aren't you married like, to one? Stretch I mean... it to see how big it'll get or, you know, I mean, <laughs> what will it do? Wasn't there the, those like two guys? I think they're Australian. They did a tour of like making things out of their penis and scrotum. No, like have you, did have you ever heard? Oh, you should Google it. Uh, it's I like should. a cabaret act. Okay. Oh yeah, it's like they're like a, a juicy hamburger. Yeah. You know, you're just like oh. yeah. yeah <laughs> I mean, they they probably moved on from balloon animals to that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <I know>. yeah. <laughs> just like the things people will pay money to see. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you know this, Jeff. Okay. But my darling son and his uh-huh. penis, he has <laughs> um, godfathers. Uncle Tim uh-huh. and Uncle Robert are his godparents. They will take him if something else happens to me uh-huh. and Jay. And Jay. Karen is the backup. Oh. Are uh-huh. you prepared for this? <laughs> <laughs> because she's not. I'm so. <laughs> <laughs> she is, but she's... No. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I have. There's me, cause you know, father, and then uh-huh. uh, my daughter is like official 
like can watch the kid age. Yeah, oh, what is I that know. Like? This is good. It's beautiful. This is good. Four oh, more did... years, she'll get the driver's license, and that's really then you're yep. cooking with gas. <sighs> yep, exactly. Take him to his appointment. <laughs> yep. Take him to the movie. <laughs> oh, you know the the biggest the first big transition is when they can stay home by themselves. Yeah, I mean that's that's just beautiful. You're just like, <sighs> oh, I'm running the star. Yeah. You know, okay. See ya. Have fun. Text uh, me if mm-hmm. you need something. You know. Uh. So, so you're saying I can't do that at six? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, probably not unless you want CPS called on you. You know. I've, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm worried about that. Yeah. <laughs> I have too many friends who've threatened somewhat jokingly. Somewhat, you well, you know. <laughs> but no. Um. This is this is going to come out on Valentine's Day. When is this coming? Yes, out? yes, yes. We're gonna beautiful. Okay, Do well, on Valentine's Day, I think it may only be on in New York, but my daughter has a date coaching in New York City, and she was interviewed by ABC World tonight, and oh, will wow. be on between two thirty a.m. and four about her date coaching and what how women need to step up and be themselves God damn. Huh. instead of trying to please the men on the dating. So that's very exciting. That is See, exciting. So, so, Jeff, you've got a few more years before your daughter can be the dating coach, but, you know, something to look forward to. No, but that's yes. awesome. That's awesome, Nancy. Yay, Nance. Yeah. <laughs> you know when she, when she starts dating at 30, right? <laughs> right? 30? <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. That's fine. That's a good age. Yeah, right. But in the meantime, you've got puberty to look forward to. 30, and... you know some stuff. 30, you actually know stuff. Yeah, <laughs> like how to use that penis. I am having to, I'm having to go to one of my part-time jobs, kids, All right. which is at the public radio station in Birmingham, WBHM. Lovely. Go, Hooray. bam. So, <laughs> okay. Go. Love it. So I have loved meeting you, Love Jeff. Love to meet you. And I, uh, I... I I think you're the most brave guy I've ever <laughs> known for getting on here with a bunch of people that are like us, yeah. you know, weird. Into the lion's den, so, you know. So I take it you're a yes. <laughs> I, I oh. vote yeah. I, 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 listen, before I even knew you, Jeff, the fact that you would come on and do this, I said, yeah, I vote for him. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. Because All right. yeah. so, do, how many people know? Do, you're cute looking. You've got a cute um, facial hair thing going on. You've got a twinkle in your eye. You cook. You uh, love your kids. You, I, I just, I think you've got it going on. Yeah. You like to sing. I think you've got it going on. You've got it Thanks, going on. That's, that's a ringing endorsement. That for really sure. is. Yeah. So now, do, do the other, do the other ladies need to do us like a secret ballot thing or, oh, or you yeah. want to? Uh-huh. Gosh. We can hash it out. Do you, do you swear <laughs> about the heads, the box of heads? Yes. Okay, because no I know that you got up one morning and made her a frittata before she got out of bed. And that, to me, indicated a level of perfection that <laughs> might be dangerous. Got to gotta ease back a little on that stuff. You don't want to be too perfect. She's got to have something to complain about. I know, you know, like either complain about or, or maybe I'm setting the bar too high so that like if I have to go and do something, you know, like the guys who don't like pick up. Like after themselves, all they have to mm-hmm. do on Valentine's Day is just like clean, you know. Yeah, yeah. And their significant others just like, oh wow, it's amazing, you know. And it's yeah. like if you set the bar too high, like you know, you make gourmet meals all the time. It's like, what, what do you, where do you have to go from there? Yeah. So, you know? so the key is uh, offer to do the laundry, but but like throw in the the, the red shirt in the the white slope. Yeah. And, see. You know, yeah. Exactly. It's like good intentions. Good intentions. <laughs> no. You get. And, we will yeah. hold that against You'll you. Never How did be this, asked to do this red sock get in here? I, <laughs> so long, Bye, Nancy. Yeah, bye, Thank Nancy. you. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah, don't 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 ruin the laundry. Okay. Not on no. purpose. I mean, Jay Justified. is on secret you probation. You can make meals as you want. I mean, you can always cook different cuisines. It doesn't. It, everything's good. So don't 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 hold yourself back. In other words, be who you are. <laughs> mm-hmm. Always. I'll send you Susanna's chili recipe. It's a mole chili, and it's really Ooh. really good. You Chocolate. have to take out a house loan. Uh, because it is, <laughs> it's like three pounds of brisket. <laughs> yes, it's the $80 pot of chili, but um, it's, good, it's good stuff. <laughs> so, well, yeah, well, yeah. well, Susanna, you'll have to send it to us so we can post it on the website. 
Uh, if it's oh, the there you go. she'll share it that far. Lisa has the <laughs> recipe. Okay. Okay. Did I give you my notes as well? What? You have secret notes that you didn't give me? I know. What the fuck? <laughs> well, well I, that's what I'm asking. Did I did I grace you with my notes? I don't know. Normally, I don't. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like the recipe know. says use cumin, and but instead use well, whatever. Tarragon. Yeah, if, you're, if your dish is so delicious that somebody asked for the recipe, right? You, you got to hold back the secrets. Mm. Here's the you know? rule. You always follow the recipe the first time, unless it's just obviously wrong. But you yeah. follow the recipe the first time, and then you make your notes about how you need to tweak it to make it a yeah. good recipe. Uh-huh. And I will share recipes, but I don't normally share my notes. Ah. Ah. Okay. I don't know if I yeah. got your notes. I think I got a lot of <laughs> verbal explanations, though. I think you did get my notes. I might have. Or I, yeah. Yes, and I tweaked as well. I tweaked as well because hers is so hot. That, uh, yes, mine is very hot. Tears. You live in Texas, Lisa. Come on. I know. Yeah. But yeah. If even <laughs> Jay, who is a gotta Texan, step up your was like tongue burning game. And you got it. <laughs> and, they're they're white, and I'm a brown person. She is. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, that'll do it. A little insult. But uh, yeah. Well, that's what the beer's for, is what I thought with with Texans. Mm. And and beer has to go in everything, isn't that right? Oh yeah. Margaritas too. Yes. The margarita. Yeah. Mm. Citrus and and uh, dairy are what cools the chili. Yeah. So that's why you drink margaritas or Coronas with lime in them. That's that's why. Uh-huh. I like a Corona with lime. Yeah. Yeah. Any objections mm-hmm. to coming to the beach in Texas? It's not the prettiest beach, but. We have a, a, a house that you can stay in. If the homeless people that I put in there actually leave when they're told to. Or the Russian writers. <laughs> yeah. I did a good deed that I'm scared of. <laughs> oh, so, oh. Huh? Well, they were in need. Well, yeah. It's a beautiful thing. You mm. might get bitten, but you know what? You try. Yeah. Check with me Eat on that. Friday because I have paying <laughs> guests coming in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cool. Well, do we want to tally up a, a final vote here? For okay. The... Um, do we need to step out for the super secret no, I th- I think you're double fine. blind ballot? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Susanna, I'm in. I say he... yay. Yay? Yay. You pass, cool. sir. Woo. You have All passed right. the committee. Karen oh, will need... make you a paper crown, and you can wear that for the rest of the day. I need confetti dropping from the booth or... It is indeed a balloon balloon drop. Yeah. Balloon drop. Like, I know. <laughs> and, and I was just like to point out to him though that he realizes that we recorded this, so we have his first name, his last name, the age of his kids. And and your age, social wireless. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, exactly. right. She can pull your credit. Okay. No, I think Jeff, I do appreciate you doing this. I know this was a bizarre ask. Um, but we love Karen so very much. And Susanna and I went through the breakup with her. And so yeah. we don't want oh, yeah. her little heart squished again. Well, she's so. fantastic. She's awesome. Well, she's we love her. Awesome. Yeah. 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 And if, and I know why you do. We will love you too. So <laughs> awesome. <laughs> take good care of our Karen. Because if you don't, we'll kill you. Yes, I know. Yes. <laughs> okay. Goes without saying. We'll find you and hunt you down. It was really a very long six months of weeping, and neither yeah. Susanna and I, we don't want to go through that again. So <laughs> it was long. Mm-hmm. Neither, neither does the weeper, you know. No, I'm sure. but no, um, yeah. I'm sure she does not. No. 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 And I'm cool. sure she will not. So I appreciate this. You are very brave and very Thank fun. You. And yeah. I like you. I'm excited. Yeah. You can come hang here and visit us. <laughs> yes. Or we'll go there yeah. and bug you, because I'll do that yeah. too. Because Portland. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's Portland. What do you think, Dale? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm I'm the neutral party, but yes. Yeah, I think. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. And he he, he did yeah. absolutely did not pay me to to say that. And by the way, you did get my PayPal address. Yeah, right? yeah. I saw that. Uh-huh. Okay. Venmo. Good. Good. Venmo. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just. All right. Yep. Okay. Is that at, right. at, at Dale <laughs> Leopold? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got it. Okay, Got good. it. Good. Got it. All right, yeah. so um, for the okay. podcast listeners out there wondering what's going on, if you need your prospective love interest checked, let us know. We'll bring them in here and grill the shit out of them just for fun. Yay. And yeah. because yeah. we care. We care? <laughs> yep. We care. But no Republicans, sorry. No, that would have been a total, mm-mm. Yeah. 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 
I know. <laughs> For the foreseeable future, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All righty. <laughs> oh, now I'm sad again, Dale. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, but we'll. Re- but is she? Bye, uh, Susanna. Thank you. Thank you, Susanna. Susanna. Thanks nice for you. joining us. All right. Cool. I need air. <sighs> I think. Um, yeah. Let's call it a. Let's call it a let's show. Let's call it here, a show. Yeah. We have right. a garage. A show. We put on a show. <laughs> thanks so much, Jeff. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for having me, guys. Anytime. Thanks for allowing it, Karen. <laughs> yeah. I As wasn't allowing. Choice. I mean, Karen was yeah. all for. <laughs> okay. You will good, go good, on good. this, and you will do. No, I'm just. Kidding. All right. Cool. She, it was the polite ask. So. <laughs> Excellent. All right. So, All right. Uh, do you have a closing line you want to drop, Dale? Uh, just that um, we hope everyone has as good a Valentine's Day as these guys are having. And uh-huh. um, and uh, that we will see you all in 10 days, or actually 11 days, because we're doing this a day early, for our next exciting episode of BS to Resistance. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. All right. <laughs> Peace out, everybody. Right. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.